Hi guys, today we're gonna to be looking at Patrick Ta's newest eyeshadow palette, Major Dimensions 2. If you're interested in seeing swatches on my medium skin tone, a look that I will create, and, and also comparisons to other color stories and other palettes that I think might be similar, then just keep watching. Okay, so thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today, like I said, we're gonna be looking at the new Patrick Ta. I'm trying not to blind you, a Major Dimensions 2 palette. I don't own the first one, but this color story was way too beautiful to pass up. And so I wanted to share that with you today. There's been a ton of videos that have gone up on this palette. I just wanna contribute. And one thing that I haven't seen is uh, comparisons to other color stories that we may already have in our collection. So I thought that I would uh, take that angle on this video. Um, I will also be creating a look, doing some swatches, some live swatches. I recently took a poll here on the community tab as well as on Instagram as to whether you guys prefer to see pre-swatched clips of my arms swatched up with the shades or if you like to see me swatch it live on camera and so um, today we're gonna try live I'm not the best at swatching live but we'll try it now this palette retails for $68. I did pick it up uh, a couple days after it released during the Sephora VIB sale, which is still going on today. Depending on what tier you are, you can save 20, 15, or 10%. The palette does come with five mattes and five shimmers, and then you have the two cream shadows here at the end that has this little window for protection, which I really, really love. Um, it's quite mirrored, as you can see. I'm trying to avoid the reflection that you guys are seeing on camera, but it looks beautiful, you guys. I can't wait to try it. Now we'll dive into this a little bit deeper into the video after I create my look with the palette. But some of the color stories that I thought when I saw this palette that I already may have in my collection are going to be the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. It's also very berry. I already see major, major differences. I thought about the Huda Beauty Naughty palette, so we might find some similar shades, especially in the matte section there. And for my indie lovers, I also thought about the Blend Bunnies Dollhouse palette. Um, there is a variety of shades in this palette. We may or may not find one or two shades, like a shimmer and a matte, but I still wanted to investigate a little bit further. Now, if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm Yadi, I'm into makeup, luxury makeup, indie makeup. I like to talk about makeup, wear makeup, try new makeup. Um, so if you're into that, make sure and subscribe. We are restarting our Makeup and Chill series live stream soon, so definitely be on the lookout for that. One more housekeeping item that's kind of bothering me, you guys. I recently moved into a new house and the entire house is electric, okay? Everything in the house is electric. And what I noticed is when I was filming in the house, I could hear like a low level hum in my videos. I have been troubleshooting for like an hour and a half. I can't figure it out. Basically what I found in researching it is that, you know, my mic will pick up on other frequencies, whether it be the Wi-Fi, another laptop, my cell phone, and I've tried to reduce it as much as possible. Please give me some feedback on the audio on this video um, and let me know what your thoughts are. Now, I also want you to know that I am filming with natural light, so everything that you see is pretty true to tone from what I can see on my camera, um, so let me know what your thoughts are on that. I think that I prefer it, actually, um, but I wanna hear your thoughts, so let me know. All right, without further ado, let's jump into it. Make sure and subscribe give me a like, everything will be linked down below, and using those links does support my channel, but it doesn't cost you anything, so if you do, I appreciate it. Let's get into it. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm new to Patrick Ta. I do not have the first palette that he released. I sort of heard mixed reviews, and neutral shadows are not always my thing. I do like color quite a bit. Um, lately though, you've seen a few neutral looks on my channel. There's a lot of stuff that's changing with my life. And sometimes our likes and our interests change as well too. And I just like all eyeshadow, you know, neutral, color, glitter, shimmer, the whole bit. Um, but this color story was gorgeous. I had to get it. So again, this is what we have here. The shades that I'm the most interested about because I've heard mixed reviews on these as well are the cream shadows. Um, I saw... A lot of people mentioned that they would crease on them. 
I always thought that these were like a base to create something deeper, more opaque, more smoky. So that's the way that I'm going to be using them today. I might have like a halo eye situation in mind and we'll see where that goes. I think that if we go in with the cream shadows, it might make the look a little too opaque or a little too deep, but then we can also test like how strong these shimmers are. So that's what I'm thinking for now. Let me know what your thoughts are on the look once we put it together. Did you pick up this palette? Like what are your thoughts? Do you have the first one? I'm just really curious. I have a blush of Patrick Ta's. I have an eyeliner and then a couple lipsticks and lip liners and I've loved everything that I've tried from the brand. So excited to try these. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with swatches. I think I'm gonna start with the shimmers first, then the mattes, and then I'll leave the creams for the end. Um, just one final shot of what it looks like there with the P from Patrick Ta. So, so beautiful, satisfying. Um, so let me start. I will say that just by swatching the first very deep burgundy shimmer here, um, you know, I work with indie shadows quite a bit and so I kind of have gotten used to the texture and stuff so I was just talking about this in my latest uh, Nomad collect, uh, Nomad palette video that it's like that crumbly kind of creamy formula that you just have to really swatch into the skin for it to work so let's get started Ooh, that is rich and beautiful the next one is this like fiery rose pink shimmer so, so pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't think these shades have names. Then we have a little gold one there. That's what it looks like on first swatch on my skin. I'm going to go back in. These shadows are definitely not too hard pressed. Um, this is more of an ethereal glow like topper shade, I think, the third one that I swatched. They feel a little bit soft, like when I'm swatching it, they do dip down quite a bit, like, you know, like Adept Cosmetics shimmers. Um, so I'll say that. This is also a little bit more sheer, not as opaque. It's like a pink shimmer. Cute. I'm gonna go back one more time. That's what it looks like. And then the last shimmer is like a gold. Hmm, it's like a gold, but it has like a peachy, you see that peachy shift to it? That is a beautiful one. I thought we were just gonna do like a boring gold shimmer here. That is so pretty. So those are the shimmers. We're gonna start with the deepest matte. Mm, they feel yummy and creamy actually when I first put my finger in the pan. Look at that, whew. Oh, I'm so excited. So that's the first one there. Doesn't swatch so beautiful, but ooh, this one swatches beautiful. Whoa, this one just swatched like a Sydney Grace shadow. Whoo, that's beautiful. All right, we're going into the middle one. So pretty. Ooh, that was my bad. I went all over the place. Let me just go back one more time. That's what it looks like there. So nice. And going into the lighter two shades of the mattes, again, all of them feel quite smooth. Um, they're opaque for sure. That's beautiful. That's one swatch, you guys. Good job, Patrick Ta. You have my attention. And that's the lightest shade. I'll just go over at the bottom a little bit. You have my attention. You have my attention. All right, so the last two that we'll swatch are the cream shadows. Those are here, and again, just wanted to point out, I love that they have like this little, this little window here. Um, he does this with his blushes that have like the cream powder formula, and then also, ooh, it feels like buttercream. This is the lightest shade, um, but I appreciate that because I don't want, you know, powder or shimmer getting into it, so that's the lightest shade. That's beautiful. And this palette has been sitting around my house for a couple days, so it's not like, um, you know, it came in hot from the shipment or anything, but they just instantly go very creamy. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. All right, so that's what we've got there. 
beautiful, beautiful color story. I'm excited. Let's put a look together. Okay, full disclosure, um, I, I purposely tried to not watch any videos because they just automatically, even without you knowing, they influence you on like what look you'll put together. The only video I watched that I just couldn't help myself was the Babs Beauty video. And funny enough, I kind of want to try the look she did. And I think it would be good because I she's a lot lighter skin or lighter complected than I am. So I want to see if these colors truly are that punchy and that deep. I mean, they look it from the swatches. So I wanted to try somewhat of a smoky like halo eye so we'll see where it goes i might not do the halo eye i might just do my regular schmegular type of look that i always do with these shades we'll see where it goes just wanted to point that out okay so i already thought of something i want to do and it's actually a little different than what babs beauty did so i'm going to actually use both cream shadows and i'm going to use that as a base for the rest of the look um and we'll see how it turns out so I'm going to take my Angie 505 from the BK Beauty collab and I'm going to go into the lightest cream shadow, that one there. And I'm going to, I did already prime my lids, but I don't ever set them with powder or anything. So I'm going to go into the lid with the lighter shade at the beginning. And even that one is very, very punchy, very opaque. Just looks like a very dusty rose mauve color. Beautiful, do you see that? All right, if this is where we're going, we're off to a good start. So then I'm gonna go into the deeper cream shade on another sort of concealer brush and I'm going to just swipe it onto the outside portion of my eye. These are extremely opaque, you guys. Like, the color payoff is really, really strong there. I'm gonna shape it into the shape that I want it to go. You know, on the first palette, I saw mixed reviews. Like, people didn't understand what to do with this cream shadow. And I think that makes me think of um, Patrick Ta's extremely innovative like I know when his um we've seen cream shadows like this before but like when his blush is released he explained that the way that he used the product was he would go in with the powder blush first and then he would top it with the cream so he's definitely not afraid to use creams um and then that that would give it like a glow with the powder blush I'm going to use one of the blender brushes from the Blends Bunnies just to kind of blend that out a little bit because it does look uh, very harsh. <laughs> Blow it out, not too much, just enough so that it's not like a harsh, harsh line. We'll clean it up here on the outside, no big deal. So they blend out pretty nice. I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming these set down a little bit more than they are right now. But, um, not really sure. Okay, wow, that's like really, here, let me see if I move this. That's really, really deep. Holy shit. We're gonna, okay, I did not expect them to be this deep, so. Um, that's okay. I guess we're going with a really smoky berry look. What I'm going to do next is I'll take the same Blends Bunnies, um, brush and I'm going to go into the second to the deepest shade, which is this one here. And I'm going to go into the outer corner and just start putting it into this pocket, which lately, especially with deeper set eyes or hooded eyes, um, I find that if I kind of focus the color here and go lighter on the inside, it opens up the eye. But look, it's not even the deepest shade. And do you see how much depth we were able to get into that? That's crazy. I do love that because you want to know that these shades are going to work on a variety of skin tones. And if it's not too pigmented, sometimes not everybody can use these shades. Wow, that deepened it up nicely. 
That's intense, guys. Next, I'm gonna go into like a packer brush. This is my refer number two. And I'm, I think I'm gonna go into the lightest shade here. Actually, I'm gonna go into the second to the lightest shade, this one here. And I'm going to go into the middle part of this eye look. Hmm. It didn't really do much to the look, but at least it sets down that cream shadow, so that's okay. And look, here you guys, I don't know if you can see, it's already creasing. So like I said, I really do think that the, these cr cream shadows maybe serve um, just to deepen up or like, you know, smoke out the look more as a base. I definitely don't think that they could be worn alone. Um, the primer that I used is also a very mattifying eye primer. Uh, because I do have oily lids, so we definitely can't use those cream shadows alone. This look looks like butter, you guys. Look at that. It's so smoky. I did not expect that, but I love it. I love it, love it. Okay, okay, so the two shimmers that are just, they've taken my heart. I'm all theirs. Is going to be the second shimmer here, the one with like a little bit of a red tint to it. And then the last one that looks gold in the pan, but it kind of has that peachy flip. So I'm going to go into the first shimmer, the, the one with the red tone here, the second shimmer that you see. And I'm just going to look at how pretty that is. That is so pretty. And I'm going to go just in the middle here. Ooh. You know, this shade reminds me of um, my beloved Natasha Denona bronze shade. Ooh, maybe I should take out that palette for comparisons. Um, there's a shade in there that I love so much. I've actually almost hit pan on it. It's so beautiful. And this one reminds me of it, but it's a little more red. It's a little more pink, and I really do like that. So, I mean, these shimmers stand on their own, you guys. That's pretty good. I like it. I think that looks great. Ooh, and then we're gonna go into the last one here. Okay, so we're gonna go into this last shimmer here, the gold one. And again, it, it's gold, but it has that peach flip. You see that? And I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and go into the middle, but like, even though we didn't deepen up the inner corner for a halo eye, but Go a little bit further up with this one. I have hooded eyes, so sometimes if you go a little bit higher, that way when I have my eyes open, people can still see it. Do you see that? Damn, this is so pretty, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, I'm not like the biggest neutral lover, but do I need the first one? You guys gotta let me know. Hopefully I get this video up really quick um, before the sale is over. Do I need the first Patrick Ta palette? Oh my God, the, the quality, everything is just incredible, you guys. Like, I am just in love. I'm in love. And like the way that the shimmers play off of the berry, you know, tones underneath. This is really freaking bomb, okay? Really freaking bomb. So I'm cleaning this up just a little bit. I'm grabbing my trusty MAC brush one more time just so that it's not harsh on the end here. Sometimes when you clean it off with the wipe, it just kind of creates this harsh line. Look at that, you guys. Sheesh. That is beautiful. Sorry, the teenage boy in me just came out. This is gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna go and do my makeup off camera and I'll come back and we can do the lower lash line. And um, I'll probably have mascara on already. I'm not gonna do an eyeliner. I wanted to use the deepest matte to do like a little eyeliner, but I'm not gonna do that. I think this is just beautiful on its own. I'll be right back. Okay, my camera cut off. I don't even, if one more thing goes wrong, maybe I should just scratch this video. Anything and everything has gone wrong as I'm trying to film. But anyway, so here's the final look. I did smoke out the lower lash line. I'm hoping I got that footage. Um, and I love it. I mean, 
You guys, I've tried a lot of different eyeshadow formulas, a lot of brands. Um, I can tell you that I'm very, very impressed with the formula, with how deep and pigmented all the shades were. Also, even though I went for like the lighter of the shimmers, like this one's a little more opaque than this one, I just felt like they really came through. Even though I was going over a very smoky, deep look, these definitely, these shimmers held their own. So I will say that. Everything else looks just gorgeous. I just love it, love it, love it. Um, let me check to see if it's creasing since we use that cream shadow as base. Okay, so I don't have any creasing at all. Um, it's only been about an hour and a half, but still I think if it was gonna crease, it would have, you know, as you saw earlier, like when I applied the cream shadow, it creased right away. So I don't have any crease right now. So as long as you set it with one of their powder shadows, I think you should be fine. All right, so there's the look. I hope you like it. I mean, you're gonna get rosy, mauve smoky looks. I just wanted to try it out and the formula more than anything, but I really, really recommend it. It's so beautiful. Now let's see if we can find anything that kind of resembles what we've got going on in this color story here okay so first up we have naughty nudes by huda beauty this is one of the ones that i thought of especially when it came to the mattes so some of the mattes that i was thinking would be similar are going to be like this one here and then this little cluster right here of mattes i thought we might have something similar there so let's swatch Yep, so I'm going into the shade Naughty here, and that's what it looks like here. Sorry, I have stuff falling everywhere. So the one that this one reminds me of is probably going to be the second to the last matte shade, I believe. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. No, we don't have, so okay. So I did the Huda Beauty here, and then I did the light, uh, the second to the last on the Patrick Ta palette in the middle, and then the deepest of the Patrick Ta in the middle. And it does not look like we have a dupe. Very, very similar, maybe in between these two, but definitely not a dupe. Okay, now let's go into the shade Spicy, this deep, Deep matte there. Maybe we have a dupe with the darkest in the palette. Maybe. So that's what the Huda Beauty looks like. And then we'll go into the deepest one here and see. Nope, even then. The Huda Beauty is the one on my index. It's just a little bit more plummy. Um, so definitely not a dupe there. The last one of any that I might try is this one here. Hmm. Yeah, the last one that we're going to try to dupe is this one here, Spicy, and see if we have a dupe. So that's, here's what the Huda Beauty looks like there, and I'm thinking that it might be a dupe for the second to the lightest matte here, and ooh, we found a dupe, we found a dupe. Dupe alert, dupe alert, there they are both right next to each other, so I would say those are definitely dupes. Let me see. Yeah, pretty much. They're very, very close. So we found a matte dupe in the Huda Beauty palette. Let me take a look at the shimmers and see. Let's, um, obviously like the only one I'm thinking, well there's a couple, is this gold one here, Tantric. Let me see. That's what it looks like, very, very gold. And then let's swatch the gold shimmer in the palette and see if they match. So they look like they match. Um, the Huda Beauty is a little bit of a chunkier formula, if you can see there, whereas the Patrick Ta is very silky, very smooth. Let's see. This is Huda Beauty right there. Then let's swatch the Patrick Ta. Ooh, I think we found another dupe. So we have a dupe for the second to the lightest matte and then for the lightest shimmer. And then another one that I'm thinking might match it, or might be similar is this one here, Irresistible. That's what it looks like. Sorry, my son's coming down. Irresistible is that one there. So that's what it looks like on the finger. And I think it might be a dupe for the middle shade here, this one here. Hmm. Nope. 
that's what they look like there. So definitely not a nude. This, this one's more gold, more pink. This one's more berry. All right. So, I mean, similar color story-ish. Um, the Huda Beauty is a little more plummy, more purple undertones. Um, and so definitely some similar shades, some similarities. If those were some of the shades that were calling to you, maybe you don't need the Patrick top because you already have those in the Huda Beauty palette. Okay, moving on to Natasha Denona Retro. The only ones, I've been staring at this for a while. The only ones that I think might have similarities with Patrick Ta are gonna be this shade here, which is Nude Mauve, and then maybe this shimmer here, Patty. So let me just swatch the Natasha Denona. Maybe. Although this seems a little more ashy, more new, more cool tone. Um, let's swatch this one here. This one's more pinky. I don't think they're gonna match. No. So this is Natasha Denona, Patrick Ta. So definitely not. And then let's look at this shade Patty. No, it's a little more brownie. It's a little more brown. Hmm. Nah, I don't see anything like this here. Honestly, that's all I could find in this palette that might even resemble it, so good. Because that's one of my favorite palettes. I don't want to think that I can dupe it with another. I don't know why, okay. So now we're gonna look at the Dollhouse palette. Um, and then let's see, maybe this shimmer, maybe that shimmer, maybe the shade Vintage or this one here. Let me swatch. Let's start with Vintage. That's one of my favorite shades in this palette. So that's what this one looks like. This one looks more like the Natasha Denona one. Pretty cool toned. Let me swatch the same shade. Um, yes, definitely not the same. Ooh, I found another shimmer that it might be close. We have this one, Marionette. And let's see what that looks like. Maybe. This looks a little bit more coppery. Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, this one looks a little more red this one here. So let's swatch. Same formula, you guys. Let me show you up close how it's like, it's a little crumbly, a little, it's creamy but crumbly, so you really have to work it into the lid or to the swatch. So this one is the Dollhouse palette. Beautiful, but it's very bronzy, coppery. And then this one is the Patrick Ta. Yeah, there's a little more red in the Patrick Ta. They're so pretty though. These could even work together. That's pretty. Let me swatch these two shimmers at the ends because I feel like I, we could have matches here. Hmm. So this one's a mannequin and that's what it looks like there. And then I'm going to swatch the second one here. I think it's too red, but still, let's see. Yeah, it's too red. Let me swatch the third one. All right, so I swatched three Patrick Ta and then this one's Dollhouse. They're definitely in the same family, but they're not the same. This one has like a pink yellowy flip to it, if you can see it there. These are just, maybe this one and this one, the pinky, but not too similar. Now we're gonna swatch this gold one here and then see how it compares to the gold in the Patrick Ta. Not at all, it's a very, very gold. The Patrick Ta is different. It has like a peachiness to it, you see that? Let's swatch them though, just to see. Nah, completely different. Let me show you really quick, like the Natasha Denona bronze palette, that one special shade that looks like this one that I was talking about, and tell me what you think. Okay, when I swatched the second one in the Patrick Ta, this is the shade I was thinking about. Do you see the similarities? That's the one that I thought, and it's, can you see the pan in it? It's like one of my favorite, favorite shades. Let me swatch. I think we have a match which is great because I was not gonna buy another bronze palette just to have that one replicated, you know? So here's the Natasha Denona. I think we have a match. And here is the Patrick Ta. <laughs> this one's a little, the Patrick Ta, the second one here is like a little more wet looking. 
Um, but I think we, we got it. Yeah, like if you see it, it's a little more wet looking, but the shades are the same. I don't know if you can see it there. There we go. The shades are the same. The Patrick Ta just has like, I guess extra fine glitters in there to make it more wet looking, but they're pretty much the same. So I kind of thought it when I swatched it. I was like, yep, that one's it. All right, guys, so final thoughts. That's all I have for you. This is the look. I really, really like it. The formula is special. I'm really excited to um, see what else he comes up with in the eyeshadow category. Do I need the first palette? Let me know if I need the first palette. I hope you enjoyed all the swatch comparisons. Um, I think for me, it's a win. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to have it. So let me know if you're gonna pick it up during the sale. Again, now's the time to do it just because you get a little bit of a discount. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.